Did you know that a hundred years ago, a German architect had an incredibly ambitious plan? He aimed to drain the entire ocean, making it the most audacious engineering proposal in history. This plan surpassed iconic projects like the Pyramids of Giza, the Hoover Dam, and even the Panama Canal. But what was the reason behind this wild idea, and could it have worked? Lebensraum, to grasp this interesting tale, let's go back to the 19th century when many Europeans, especially in Germany, were talking about something called Lebensraum. In English, Lebensraum means living space, and it's a simple idea. As a country's population grows, people will need more space. In the 1920s, Adolf Hitler got interested in this idea, thinking that as Germany became more powerful, it would need more living space. Other Europeans also had the same thought. Populations were growing rapidly, and there wasn't enough room for everyone. It felt like countries were getting too big, and they needed more space, like balloons in a crowded room, with many thinking that eventually these balloons would burst. Energy demands were also rising with growing populations, requiring more coal and oil. This made it seem like war over new living space was inevitable in Europe. Growing countries needed land and resources, and the only solution they saw was taking these from each other. However, in the 1920s, another German, Hermann Sorgel, approached the problem from a new angle. He came up with an astonishing plan, which he called Atlantropa. This name was a mix of Atlantic and Europa, meant to make people think of Atlantis, the legendary underwater city. It's tricky to decide what seems more believable, the myth of Atlantis or the plans for Atlantropa. In simple terms, Sorkel wanted to drain the Mediterranean. By doing this, he thought he could make new land for Europeans to settle and solve the Lebensraum issue without going to war. The Mediterranean is about eight times bigger than modern Germany, so that's a lot of extra space. Sorgel imagined vast areas of land recovered from the sea, turned into fertile plains. He pictured beautiful towns and cities where people could live in peace without worrying about space running out. Plus, without the Mediterranean, traveling from Europe to Africa would be easier. This could create more living space as Europeans could move to Africa and build new cities and homes. Sorgel got his idea from a real geological event. The Mediterranean loses more water through evaporation than it gains from rivers. The only reason the sea level doesn't drop is because the Atlantic Ocean flows in through the Strait of Gibraltar. However, about 5 million years ago, the strait closed, causing the Mediterranean to shrink. Land was revealed as the water level dropped, but when the strait reopened, a flood refilled the basin. Sorgo wanted to recreate this without waiting for tectonic plates to move again. He turned his civil engineering for a solution. Sorgel's insane plan. Hermann Sorgel had a grand plan called Atlantropa, which aimed to build dams to change the Mediterranean and solve living space problems in Europe. The main idea was to construct a dam in the Strait of Gibraltar, a challenging task due to its depth and width. This dam would need to be much taller and longer than any other dam in history. But Sorgel's plan didn't stop there. He also wanted to dam the Dardanelles Strait and build another dam between Sicily and Tunisia. These colossal dams would isolate the Mediterranean, allowing different water levels. These descending water levels were expected to reveal vast areas of land, solving Europe's living space problem. But Sorgel had more in mind. He wanted the super dams to serve as hydroelectric power stations, generating electricity to support the region and other parts of Europe. Although his ideas seemed overly ambitious, they gained popularity at the time. Sergio wrote books, leaflets, and articles about Atlantropa, and many people saw it as a peaceful solution to overpopulation. Some architects proposed modifying Sergio's plan by using a series of dams at intervals to reduce pressure and the risk of collapse. Inspired by the Zwitterzee works in the Netherlands, where dams held back part of the North Sea, Sergio gained confidence in his vision. He suggested connecting the entire European continent to a central power grid, using canals in Italy and Egypt, and creating a single continent called Eurofrica. This expanded plan included building a dam across the Congo River to create a freshwater inland sea, irrigating the Sahara Desert, and connecting Europe to Africa. Problems and criticism. Certainly, not everyone liked these ideas. Looking back, they showed a colonialist attitude in Europe at that time ignoring the people already living in Africa. 
these African citizens didn't want a stream of Europeans coming in and claiming their land. While Sorgel aimed to prevent a crisis of war in Europe, he seemed indifferent to disrupting the lives of African citizens. Criticism wasn't limited to the colonial aspect. Even if the Atlantropa project could be built, many worried about public safety. What if an earthquake or a terrorist attack caused one of the dams to collapse? The Atlantic Ocean would flood back into the Mediterranean, destroying the towns and cities built by Sorgal. Another concern was the immense cost of the project. While the exact figure is unknown, it would have been a staggering amount. The Zwiderzee works, much smaller than Atlantropa, cost well over a billion US dollars. Raising enough money for this project would have required cooperation from all European countries, a challenge given the lack of a European Union at that time. Lastly, people questioned the overall feasibility of Circle's plans. Many engineers doubted they would work, and history has proven them right. Even today, no dam comparable to Circle's vision has been built. In the end, despite a lifelong campaign, Sorgel never had the chance to put his plans into action. Instead, he witnessed his greatest fears materialize. In the 1930s, Adolf Hitler and the Nazi party sought Lebensraum, a key motivation for their aggressive actions that led to the Second World War. Not long after, Sorgel died in a car accident, and the dream of Atlantropa faded away. What are your thoughts? Do you think Sorgel's plan was a good idea? And is it possible to build such a massive mega project? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you're interested in the Congo Dam mentioned earlier, check out our video about it. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.